The Ogata High School Theater Company is delighted to welcome you to a Christmas carol. At this time, we ask that you turn on all cell phones and please refrain from any talk via this performance. At an admission, we invite you to wear wrap baskets, kindly donated by our parents' association. After the show, our cast will happily meet you in the lobby. Be advised that this performance includes haze effects and blackouts. Thank you for being here to support live theater and for our own. Please sit back and enjoy. Shut up, pass freely, and think about this, that there are really fellow pastors in life. 
And that long ago, though it's not put a scrap of silver or gold in my pocket, I believe has done me good. And will do me good. And so I say, Merry Christmas. And now I say you're both a couple of fools. Ah! Uncle, don't be mad. Please, come have supper with us tomorrow. I should think not. But why, Uncle? Why? Why? Let me ask you this. Why did you get married? Because I fell in love, of course. Love! <laughs> you fell in love. <laughs> Good afternoon, nephew. I know you like her, but just give her a chance. At the very least, don't let her be a reason for not coming. You've never accepted my invitation even before I was married. Good afternoon. I'm starting to find you so resolute. I came with greetings to the season, and I'll keep my Christmas here until the last. Good so, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Good to see you, Bob. And you, Fred. And a happy new year. Happy new year. You too. Another man, 15 shillings a week. A wife, a family, coming up on a Merry Christmas. Oh, and I'm the crazy one. Marley's dead. Died seven years ago this very night, in fact. I'm quite sorry to hear that, but I've no doubt that generosity is well represented by his partner. At this festive season of the year, Mr. Scrooge, our organization aims to collect extra funds that may be used to the benefit of the poor and needy, who suffer greatly at the present time. Many thousands are in want of basic needs. Hundreds of thousands are in want of common comforts, sir. Are there no prisons? Did they disappear? As the workhouse is for poor, still operation, I assume? They are still. I wish I could say they were not. Oh, no. I was worried from what you had said that something had stopped them in their useful course. I'm glad to hear it. Given the Christmas season, we're trying to raise funds by the poor some meat and drink and means of war. We chose this time because it is a time of all others when one is keenly felt and abundance rejoices. A time when men can reach up to men and truly feel the spirit of giving in their heart. So, how much have you done, Foster? Nothing. Oh, you wish to remain anonymous, then? I wish to be left alone. I don't make merry myself at Christmas, and I can't afford to make other people merry. Like taxes, all the institutions I've mentioned, and those who are bad men all must go there. The many can't go there, and many would rather die. Oh, well, if they would rather die, perhaps they should go ahead and do it, and decrease the surplus population. It's not my business. I have thought too much of my own business to attend to, to interfere with other people's. Mine keeps me up with life constantly, and I'll thank you for being to it, gentlemen. So, you tight as the can of the rhinestone he was. A squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, clutching, covetous horse sinner. Secret, self contained, and solitary as an oyster. It's not convenient, and it's not fair. You'd cry foul if I held back the salary for it, and yet you don't feel well when I get days' wages for no work. It's only once a year, sir. <laughs> You're sorry, excuse for picking them out of pocket. Once every two or three of December. <clears throat> oh, I suppose you must have it. If you roll me early next morning. Yes, sir, I shall. I certainly shall.
this, and the god of this brings him over. He headed to home. He lived in Chambers up to once belonged to his deceased partner. There were gloomy sweet dreams, as old, dreary, and isolated as the man who lived in there. Once inside, Scrooge worked craftily in time with the clock. It was a well worn routine. It was a love fire. Practically nothing on such a bitter night. Scrooge was obliged to skew closely to brood over it before it could extract the least sensation of warmth to drink, a handful of fuel. Scrooge felt safe and secure in the walls of his house. But little did he know that his usual routine would be interrupted by an unexpected visitor, a visitor of the likes of which he hadn't seen for seven years. Jacob, you've been dead, what, seven years? 
No rest, no peace. It's just a torture of remorse. You travel quickly. On the wings of the wind. Or you might have gotten here sooner. Oh, captive bound in Tull Island. I could use every day after kindness would have never been enough. I did not know that no one ranked me the men for wasting one life's opportunity. But you always wonder a bit about the business, Jacob. Is this? Mankind was my business. The common welfare was my business. Charity, mercy, remain to number into all my business. The dealings of my trade were to drop of water in the comprehensive ocean of my business. This time of the year is the hardest. Why did I walk through crowds of fellow beings with my eyes turned down and have raised my blessed heart to let the wise men do more dwelling? With a noble home, so much life could have led me. Hear me. My time is nearly done. Oh, little Jacob, but don't be hard on me. I'm here to warn you that if you have yet a chance of escaping my fate, the chance I have to cure for you, Ebenezer. Thank you, Jacob. You always were a good friend. You will be haunted by three spirits. Is... Is that the chance and hope you mentioned, Jacob? It is. Well, I, uh... Think I've done a lot there. Now that I've visited you, know, hope to shun the path I tread. Except the first tomorrow, when the bell tolls one. Can't they all come at once and have it over with, Jacob? Look to see me no more. And for your sake, remember what has passed between us. Our hands
What? I think I know this place. I, I was born here. Yes. It has been a long time, has it not? Oh, yes, you're right about that, Spirit. I have not been back to this place in a very long time. Where would you have me go? You recollect the way to the schoolhouse. Remember it? Well, I, I can walk it blindfolded right this way. No one can see or hear us. Right, those uh, children are all old and women now. I see them now. The school's not yet certain. A single, solitary child, neglected by its friends, is left in a seal. Scrooge has spent many lonely years at school. I was spent in fancy worlds that only books can live us too. Ah, yes. Good old Holly Baba, the Robin Crusoe, and so many other adventurers became my true companions. <laughs> Poor boy. But he's happy, he is. Lonely, but not unhappy. My father thought it was the best I stayed through school breaks, which gave me a more time for my studies. I had to stop my car seat now. Did you miss your father? I was no near my father when I was at home. He was a hard worker, my father, a strong head for numbers, and I learned much from watching him apply himself to his business ventures and use that strong head for numbers and sense of hard work to build himself. But the building took most of his time. I respected my father, and sometimes father and son must be satisfied to respect each other. Just a moment, in this place, he seemed himself so young. Scrooge remembered his father as clearly as he had in many years. And there was another memory, too. Though, um, I have a little sister who I would have liked to have been to see me. Then I'll see you another Christmas. Dear, dear father, I'm going to bring him home. In fact, home? Yes, home for good. Father's much kinder than he used to be. He was in a pleasant mood just the other night, so that I was not afraid to ask him some more if he might come home. And he said, yes, you should. And he sent me to bring you. Ebenezer, Father has arranged an apprenticeship for you. You're to be a man, begin your career. You'll never have to spend another moment in this dreadful school. But first, we'll be together all Christmas long and have the merriest time in all the world. My dear Fanny, Always a delicate creature that a breath might have withered, but she had such a large heart. So she had, for right about that spirit. But she lived to be a young woman. And a mother? Yes, a child. Your nephew! Yes. You must adore him, a piece of his mother's loving spirit left on his arm. The memory of his sister was a painful one for Scrooge, but the night was just beginning.
so try to have my love. Oh, promenade is it anyway? A promenade would be splendid. Then a promenade we shall have. Until in good time we can prove our wealthy fortune, 
with patience and hard work. You are changed. For another man who made this promise. And the support. I know, and I will hold it to a point of promise. I used to think of our lives together. We were so one heart that even whatever our future held, it was full of happiness. We are not one heart anymore. There are days at least when I feel I do not know you anymore. So at least your heart. I have never asked you to release from my promise. Not in words, no. In my bed. It has changed nature. It has altered spirits. It has taken on another hope for your life. Otherwise, if I could, heaven knows. And I feel free today, tomorrow, yesterday. Even I believe that you would choose a girl with no inheritance. You who are so much wiser than that now. Even if your heart managed to rule your head for a moment, I know regret would follow. I do not want to be in your life's regret. I release you with a full heart to love the man you once were. May you be happy in the life you've chosen. Show me no more of this. I cannot bear it. One shadow more. Uh, I saw no friend of yours. Oh, who was it? Yes. How can I? I don't know. Um, Mr. Scrooge. Mr. Scrooge, it was. I passed his office window. He looked healthy, I suppose. Healthy enough. To put it down, though. Not sure why man of his fortune should look so down. Maybe you should pay for a visit. Looks. Quite alone in this world, I do believe. Spirit, show me your warm. I don't wish to see it. Why do you like to torture me? I told you, these are the shadows of the things that happen. That they are what they are. Do not blame me. Poor Ebenezer. Now I'm sure I can provide no confidence. It's been so long, you might make me a stranger to see me now. Spirit. Conduct me home. Show me no more and hold me no longer.
Scrooge should know what to expect. But the hustle and bustle of the must never give his heart a reason to weep. It was just enough to distract him from the ever present ache in his heart after seeing Belle's lovely smile once more. Perhaps it was her own kind, hearty, generous nature. But the love of all poor men, the tender spirit straight to the door of Scrooge's turn. To a poor one most. Why, to a poor one most? Because they need it first. Well, I've seen your blessings before, I, I don't believe they've done much good. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but they have been done in your name, or at least in that one's family. There are some upon this earth of yours who lay claim to know us, and who do their deeds of passion, pride, ill will, envy, hatred, victory, and selfishness. Who are strange to us and all our kin as if they never lived. Remember that and charge their doings on themselves, not us. Whatever has got your precious father then, and your brother, kind kin? And Martha wasn't this late last Christmas Day. It's not this hard way from the bakery. Just the mill is all right. Christmas Day. Only on Christmas would 
one toast to the health of such a stingy, odious heart, unfailing man as Mr. Scrooge. You know he is, Robert. Nobody knows it better than you. My dear Christmas. I'll toast you to health to his head and days, but not his. Christmas yet to come? You are 
but surely the shadows of things that have not yet happened, but that will happen in the time for us, are not so stiff. Ghosts of the future, I fear you more than any specter I have ever seen. It is I know your purpose is to do me good. It is I hope to be a different man from what I was. I am prepared to follow you and to do it with a thankful heart. Will you not speak to me? Yes. Lead on, Spirit, lead on. I know this time is precious to me, it is passing quickly now. Lead on, Spirit. for 
anything. Besides, quite as becoming to the body. He can't get ugly at any business one. <laughs> well, I hope he didn't have anything catching. Oh, uh, what's wrong with that man? The heart ain't catching. And we're all better for it. <laughs> Right then, that's the end of it. He fried never went away while he was alive and then left us free to profit when he died. <laughs> ah, spirit, I see, I see. The case of this unhappy man. I'd be my own mind. I like I'm carefully leading that way. Friendless in the world with no one to mourn me. I see all this in this book. Let's leave it now. Master of heaven, what is this? Oh, I, I understand you, spirit, and, and I would do it if, if I could, but I, I don't have the power. Spirit, if there is any man. Any person in this town who feels emotion caused by this man's death, please show that person to me. Small, 
we'll be reminded to be patient and mild ourselves. But it's okay to hope. We can never forget Pankham. Not over. I'm <laughs> very happy. Very happy indeed. Spirit, surely I too could not have been so poorly. It can't have come to that. Tell me who the man was, the one we saw lying dead. It is? Good, good, good light. What? No, no, 
I am in earnest. Go get the man and kill the Amir. I'll give you the address of where to deliver it. Come back with him and I'll give you a shilling. Come back with him in less than five minutes and I'll give him half a crown. <laughs> oh. But from now on, I will be as good as Christmas. And they will know it from my actions. Ah, there's the turkey. Oh, it's a fine bird. Far too big to carry all the way to Camden Town. Here's a shot to buy your carriage. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sir. It is a kindness you all to me. Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> yes, I, I feel I've made that name unpleasant to you. But, well, just you. I've come to beg your pardon, and if you'll accept it. Mr. Scrooge, are you quite serious? Yes, indeed. <laughs> there are a great many back feelings included in this, I assure you. Thank you for allowing me to make this right. Come to my shop and we'll get it all sorted. Yes, thank you. I don't say, I mean, this is... No, don't, don't say anything. Will you come and see me? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sir. Fred! Uncle Scrooge! I don't believe I've had the pleasure of your acquaintance. I've heard so much about you, Uncle Scrooge. All good things, I suppose. I hope you'll allow me to make a second impression. I'll come to dinner if you'll still have me. Of course, we'll have you. Uncle, please come in. Oh, Fred, she isn't paying you. I hope you'll forgive the old man's foolishness. To set it to begin, I quite like having a fool as a friend. Thank you. 
us, all of us, and as time to observe. God, God.